Well, hello, Crime Stoppers. Uh, so, uh, I actually watched a video. It's pretty rare that a video actually annoys me to the point where I make a video. Uh, or when I, like, you know, this whole thing started when they started calling Ron Paul a racist, right? Okay, well, there was a video about gun control, and it's pretty obvious where I stand, obviously. Um, but I watched this video, Mayor's Gun Control Campaign video, Demand an End to Gun Violence. Okay. That's, I love free speech. I enjoy the debate. A lot of my friends, I can't debate with them at all because they're all, quote-unquote, gun fanatics. They own guns. Oh, my God. Um, I don't have any guns in the house because I have little kids in the house, and I have, and they're curious, and I'll wait for a little while until they can be trained and made to understand that these are not toys, even though there's toys every. I've gone Christmas shopping, I was looking for a bike, there's guns of every description everywhere. Colored guns and toy guns, anyway, you get the point, just, you've been out shopping and you see it, right? And now we're going to ban guns because of this Sandy Hook shooting, right? You know, oh, do something, and here they are calling for, here's the first thing. Where the hell were these guys when it came to, like, torture? Where were these, where were all these artists, like, end torture now? It's in the Constitution. No cruel and unusual punishment. Obama stops us from going after the torturers. And then pays lip service to ending torture, and we... Still torture. Is Gitmo still open? Is there still, right? Cruel and unusual punishment still going. Where were they? How about peace? Where were they? Where are these guys talking about peace and ending wars and stop spending all this crazy money on the military? And if we spent some of this, uh, save some of the money on the military and the spying and the military industrial complex and the, you know, the security spying complex and the prison industrial complex, maybe we could have more health care in our schools. We could, like, you know, a few less bombers. And instead of putting a cop in every school, how, how, how about putting music programs in schools? Right? Music sues the savage beast, and there's plenty. Check music therapy. Search music therapy for mental health, for, you know, recovering stroke victim, for all kinds of stuff. Music, right? Put it back in schools. Put arts back in schools. Put mental health where, where kids can get to it. And mental health doesn't mean doctoring them with, with drugs, right? All these legal drugs. And this is another thing, these, these mayors for gun control artists there, and I was very ashamed to see some of you, uh, anyway, we won't name names, but what, we're looking at guns. Why don't we look at the source? Because it doesn't matter whether you, it's a car or a baseball bat or a gun, a crazed person that's been taking drugs, uh, legal drugs, prescription drugs, and I've got all kind of links down there again, um, you, you don't want those two things together, right? You don't want, I mean, like just a car, just a regular old, what we would consider an innocuous object that used, used for transportation, but can also be driven into crowds and can also kill other people when you're drug crazed, right? And how many of these stupid stars have to die on drugs? How do we lose Michael Jackson? How do we, I mean, like the list of starlets that have died in Hollywood is long over time and nobody's talking about drugs, right? Crazed people will pick up a gun or a baseball bat or a knife or a machete, right? It doesn't matter. What the, what we need is mental health. What we need is more mental health. What we need is access to mental health. And then access to mental health doesn't mean give them Prozac and send them on their way. Military suicides. We lose more military men per month in some months in this country than we do in combat in Afghanistan. And actually it was Afghanistan and Iraq combined for a while there. There were more military suicides. What are all these guys? Antidepressants. What's the link? Antidepressants. Nobody's looking at antidepressants. Just talk about gun control. And then here's the first thing, right? These guys are talking about, oh, we need to get rid of the guns. And uh, that, that, that's crazy talk that, you know, the only way to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. And there's a quote, I'll put it down there. Oh, what all these That's crazy. We don't, we need less gun. Okay. Bottom line is, your house gets broken into when there's a guy at your doorstep with a gun. Hopefully he's not there to rape and kill you. He just wants money. What's the first thing you're going to do? You're going to call a guy with a gun. Right? You're going to call a good guy with a gun. What's the second thing you're going to do? A lot of you guys are going to pray to your imaginary friend that the cop gets there in time. Right? Some people, in many states, actually, aren't take, they, they, take the, they don't take the step of calling a cop. They have a gun handy. Because right? you never need a gun unless you need it bad. And yes, there's going to be right more problems. It, it, actually, the most amusing thing is that Obama has sold more guns than any video will ever. Any of these videos will ever. Any advertising from uh, from Smith and Wesson or any of these other guys in magazine. Obama has sold way more guns than any of these guys. Glock loves Obama. All these gun manufacturers loves Obama. And then the hypocrisy there is incredible. How many? Who's the number one supplier of guns to the world? And I'm not just talking about Fast and Furious, which they knew about. 
uh, and, and announced and so forth. And I'll put a couple links to that because the hypocrisy is just mind boggling. But who sells the most guns around the world? Bar none. Far and away. Oh yeah, it's us. It's the United States. We sell more guns. Um, it, this whole thing is just insanity. We have the Second Amendment for a reason, and many people pussyfoot around the main reason that our founding fathers put it in there. But we know, right? and you don't want to talk about it, but an armed populace always stands in the way of tyranny. Always. And this Piers Morgan guy, fuck him. You need, I mean, seriously, if, you, if ever he should possibly watch this, fuck you. Go back to judging talent contests, you fuck. I mean, it's just... Right? You're not allowed to, right? Ted Nugent, I expected a little more out of Ted Nugent. But anyway, it's just, it's painful, right? These people are hypocrites. And, and how many of these guys have armed guards? How many politicians have armed guards? You know, right? I put some studies down there, and there are studies either way. You can make statistics lie either way for, for gun control, right? But there are some very clear studies uh, from FBI crime labs, uh, compilations. And anyway, there's a bunch of stuff down there. It's in chart form. As soon as you see, the, like I said, the thing is mathematics, right? Facts is facts, and they hate the facts. Um, but I'm going to put some of those things down there so that when you guys are in you know, chat rooms or wherever you are, just put the facts up and, and be done with it. Um, and maybe you could put some pictures of the charts and so forth up, right? Take some screenshots of the charts that show as soon as the concealed carry laws are enacted, boom, crime goes down. <laughs> no question about it. And then when the gun grabbers get their way and they get guns, oh, crime goes up. Oops, let's go that way. Crime goes up, right? I mean, it's straightforward. And yes, I have traveled this country from one end to the other. I have been from Maine to Maui. I've been to every state but Alaska. And the places where I felt safest were the places where there were the most guns because those were the most polite societies. The places like Idaho and Montana and Utah and Oregon. Uh, and I can and Texas and I can you know name it the places where you know the Midwestern states where they're still kind of wild and woolly and they you know they're independent self-reliant people and they have guns and they don't have the problems that they have in the inner cities. I, mean, I can tell you story after story and there's study after study. Now, when you have all these guns, which like I said, we're gonna have to we're gonna definitely have to revise all of our stats because in the last four years, guns have flown off the shelves. And there needs to be more training. I agree with that. And background checks, eh, I, it doesn't seem to matter, right? The more gun control, it doesn't seem to take the hand, the, them out of the hands of the crazy people, right? The sane people are the one, right? And this is the other thing. But, but, but anyway, I, there, there needs to be where you don't just get a gun and, and you're good, right? There, there needs to be like, you need to get a gun, understand how to use it, right? how to fire the thing, how to take it apart and clean it. You know, the whole gun culture that is alive and well in this country, you need to know. Because as I've told many people, I have a few people that are, you know, they, there's five big guys raping you on the beach and I come traipsing up, right? Little old me, right? I'm, you know, 200, I'm not even 200. I'm like a, what am I now? I'm like a buck 70 and six feet tall. Would you rather have me come up uh, unarmed or would you rather be able to, for me to trot back to my car, pick up a 45 and ask them nicely to stop what they're doing, right? There, this is the thing, the paranoia of people. Americans are good people. My countrymen are good people. Most of the people you're watching this are good people. You're not drug crazed, insane people. Most people are good people. Good people with guns will do good things, right? You stop crime. If you see a person being you know, molested or raped, you would stop it. If you see a bank being robbed, it's probably not a good idea because most bank robberies have guns, but still, if you, it, there's plenty of cases where, where citizens with guns have stopped robberies, have stopped mass murders, have stopped on and on and on. Because most people are good and they will use it for good cause. And if there are more armed citizenry, like you see a lot of these women and so forth, they're getting scared and they're buying guns. Man, I hope they have, you show, they learn how to shoot the things. And then that's the other thing. Pointing a gun at another human and pulling the trigger is a hard, hard thing. Ask any returning vet. And when, anyway, this is one of those things where you hope it never happens. But if you need a, you know, tourniquets and guns, when you need them, you need them bad and you need them fast. And yeah, I, I, I completely agree that there accidents will happen, but I would rather be bothered by too much liberty than the lack of it. And I'm telling you that between all the, the writings on the wall in this country, my friends, and you liberty people, like I said, you need to be able to get out there and educate people that uh, they, they have plans and 
all these people that I trust the government, really, so you occupy Wall Street people, none of you guys have guns, everybody in the, in the government has guns. How's that gonna work out? And pepper spray, you'll, you'll enjoy the pepper spray too. Um, the, the idea is very simple. I, and I can show, I have a video down there, uh, you take a look at that, where the Occupy Wall Street people are being protected by some militia guys that are just well armed because they watched all the stuff that happened in New York and all these women getting pepper sprayed and the, and the cops doing things that cops shouldn't be doing and they'd had enough and they just said, fine, you guys wanna protest? We don't agree with a lot of the stuff you say, but we all agree with your free speech and your ability to, to see, and that's the thing with the people that believe, that have, you know, are pro-constitution and pro-civil uh, rights and pro, well not civil rights, unalienable rights, I'd rather not have civil rights, but pro Bill of Rights, uh, you know, we're not trying to take your rights away, but you try to take our rights away because you think that, you know, you need protection. <laughs> the way to be free is to give up your freedom. The way to, the way to exercise your rights is to give up your rights. It's just painfully ridiculous. Why are you so stupid? Why are you so stupid? Oh my God, give up. The, uh, we need freedom, so we need to give up our freedom. What? Gun, gun, you know, the gun-free zones aren't working, so we need more gun-free zones, right? And, I, and, and like I said, I know a lot of people who won't be calling the cops because they have their own weapons. They'll call the cops afterwards to clean up, not before, right? They put up signs that say the house is protected by Smith & Wesson. And lo and behold, most criminals won't go into those houses, oddly enough. Um, but the point being is that I absolutely agree with your ability to speak about your, you know, I don't really care if you agree with me or not. Uh, I have the ability to free speak freely under the Constitution of this United States, and so do these artists, mayors for gun control and so forth. But the hypocrisy is high, and you have to see that. And like I said, just facts. Quit arguing on emotion. Quit arguing on, oh, we need to do something. Because like I said, I have lots of people that think, eh, I've heard this statement before, there is no situation so fucked up that calling the cops can't make it worse. <laughs> One of my favorite sayings. Anyway. Like I said, cut the emotion, cut the crap, quit the, cut the herd mentality, just facts. And, you, and you'll see the stats can go either way and they can rig the stats. It'll be like, oh, well, you know, baseball bats kill more people than, no, baseball bats don't kill more people than guns. But I'll tell you what, if you sum up baseball bats and hammers and knives and all these other, you know, regular household implements that people use in murders and so forth, they outnumber guns. So what do they do? They pull them out and talk about them one at a time. Because you're right, baseball bats don't kill more people than guns. And crow and crowbars and tire irons. I have a tire iron. I shouldn't, I, you know, I have a tire iron. It's in my car. Most people I know have a tire iron. I wouldn't think of picking it up and beating somebody with it. But there are crazed people that would. And again, it gets back to you know people that are mentally stable and and sane. Everybody gets mad, but most people can control their anger to the point where they don't actually kill somebody with a weapon. Um, but if you take it right, everybody's got a hammer. Everybody's got a baseball bat. Everybody's got a you know a kitchen knife, a big kitchen knife. Everybody's got it right. And you take all of those things combined, uh, you know there are more common. These are more common causes of death than guns, right? If you take them as a whole. But they'll of course, like I said, separate it out and say, well, you know, baseball. No, because here's the thing: all of those those things are, and again, cars and so on, ladders. <laughs> People beating each other with laugh. Anyway, the, the 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 you know cutting boards, frying pans. The the idea is that sane people with good mental health don't beat each other to death. Right? They don't shoot each other. They don't run each other over with cars. They don't you know <laughs> they don't drive cars while they're while they're you know popped up on whatever the hell medication it is and wind up killing themselves or others, which is always the worst punishment. You kill yourself. Uh, but then you survive because you, you're all relaxed because you're on whatever drug it is or alcohol. Um, and then you wind up waking up in the hospital and finding out that you've killed a family of four or even just one person. Anyway, like I said, better mental health. A couple of less bombers, a couple less, right? A couple, a little less war. And we could have pristine water in this country uh, instead of fluoridated water. Uh, and I see the need for chlorine in some communities, but I don't see the need for fluoride. But you know, we drug the we drug you with well, we drug little kids. We drug right? Okay, get rid less drugging and more mental health. And again, music programs in schools. That's crazy talk. Put music in school. Yes, music, the beautiful expression of mathematics, is very very healing. Um, but what do we do? We defund that. But we still got plenty of money for prisons. We got plenty of money for all this other stuff. All right.
uh, I've talked long enough. 15 minutes is, is more than enough on this issue, but, but I mean, well, more than enough, as if 15 minutes could cover all the nuances of gun control and, you know, drugs and all of the, this whole thing where, of course, they want, this, Americans, what do we want? We want the easy answer. What's the easy answer? Take, get, rid of, get rid of the guns, the guns, the children that save the children. I've never actually, that video just pissed me off. Watch it. See if you can watch it all the way through. And the most amusing thing <laughs> was that there was a video game a commercial on it for before you could even watch the commercial, right? And what's the video game commercial? Is it is it violence and guns and blowing stuff up? Of course it is. It's just, it's, I live in an insane country. <laughs> Anyhow, oh, wait, wait. And, and this is proof of the insanity right here. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. As it's, you know, Christmas time. And uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and however you celebrate this uh, holiday season. Remember what it is. Holiday season is is for uh, the children. And I have to agree that when it comes to the uh, the whole Sandy Hook thing, it, it would hurt your heart if you were a parent and your kid got gunned down in, at school and those Christmas presents under the tree are unopened. At the same time, maybe you better take a closer look at this Sandy Hook story because it stinks to high heaven. Anybody that can take a and see, and that's the other thing they try to get you with is like, oh, you're dishonoring the children and the parents and so forth. If you put your emotions aside and actually ask some penetrating questions, like, yeah, anyway, I'll put a couple of those videos down there. Ooh, conspiracy theory. But I don't believe anything the government tells me. Nothing. And of course, what they'll try to do is discredit it by giving you one bullshit story that gets repeated, and then I even repeated it about the LIBOR thing and so forth. So then all the rest of it must be untrue. I'm like, wait a minute, what about that uh, fan page for the for Soto, for Vicky Soto? What about, how did he get the gun in there? How do, What about the 223 kit? What about the not being able to identify the, the, the kids and having mass funerals and that and closed caskets? And really? So we never, ever, ever saw the dead bodies. Ever, right? It's just, it, the whole thing stinks. Anyhow, that's a whole another video which I already made, but and which I should probably recut. But the idea is, when it comes to the gun control and when it comes to the Bill of Rights, don't give up the Bill of Rights because it, it becomes very clear that we're getting played here. And these these guys, pro peace, less war, right? Peace on earth, goodwill toward men. I'll put Stevie Wonder song in there someday at Christmas, right? You got kids? I, I dare you to listen to the whole thing without tearing up a little bit, because it's 1967 he made that song. 2013 coming up and we still have just war, war, war. And I'd love to live in a world where there weren't any guns, but that ain't happening. So in the meantime, we need to be able to defend ourselves. And if I have kids in school, I don't want them getting shot up. Of course I don't. But I'd rather have the teachers be able to defend my kids than just run away and scream. Anyhow, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Hopefully I don't make another video until January, but with this whole thing, <laughs> there's a possibility that I'll get annoyed again and wind up doing something like this. Anyway, use the links and facts, not emotion, facts, right? Mathematics, simple, I mean, and anyway, enough. But the idea is you, you, you need to be able to take a look at statistics and see that you know, on both sides, they use, uh, they, they use statistics to promote their agenda. But it's pretty clear from my travels and my personal experience that the armed societies or the polite societies, and you just don't see guys going berserk at gun shows, but you do see them in gun-free zones. All right, I'll leave you with that. The Liberty Movement, like I said, man, have we got work to do.